Howdy folks, welcome back to another video. We're back in race room racing experience in the BMW M235i around the Nürburgring. This is a rookie server, and as you can tell by the thumbnail and the incident points, it was slightly chaotic. And there was one driver in particular that was intent on giving us as many incident points as he possibly could. We're no saint in this either. A lot of the blame is on us, as you'll see as we go throughout this race. But chaotic or not, it happened to be quite a good race. We got a pretty decent result considering. But if you do enjoy the content, please let me know. Leave a comment down below, like the video. And of course, if you want to see more like this, consider subscribing to the channel. Also, if you want to catch the next race like this live, you can catch us on Twitch. Link is in the description below. But let's jump in. This is a 15 minute rookie server around Nürburgring in the BMW M235i. Enjoy. 15 minutes. Get ready, keep your nose clean. Starting P19 on the grid. Plan here is to keep it as conservative as possible. We've got 15 minutes, plenty of time to make our way through the field here, but we do get a good start. Uh, we're right up there with the pack, but we decide to just lay back just a little bit. There's one car behind us that we're not too worried about. Just want to see what happens in front here. Car left. So we do end up getting a little bit of a run down the outside. So we do find some space in the middle. We keep it there. End up in the middle here. A little bit chaotic either side of us. Car turned the opposite way there to the right hand side. But we avoid all the carnage and make our way through. Currently up to P15. Not so bad. But here we make a crucial error very late on the brakes we clip the inside of the car and it just spins us right around nothing we can do there 100 percent our fault and we just wait until all the traffic is gone and now it's time to catch up so that was our first kind of crucial error in this four incident points on the board nothing we could have done there we just weren't expecting that bmw to come in so quickly and cut the corner as such uh but it was on me. Broke way, way too late on that. I was way too, uh, way too adventurous with that one. But we are catching up quickly as the pack is quite tightly together. They do tend to concertina up on the corners, so it doesn't take long whatsoever to catch them back up. Especially being a rookie server, um, some of the drivers towards the back will be a little bit slower. But coming around to the Schumacher S's here, do you see a car in the middle of the road? Not the ideal direction to be pointing. Two BMWs in a scuffle ahead as well. Another car pointing the opposite direction. Two freebies. We will take that. We do need it at this stage. Up to P18. And our eyes are firmly set on the car up ahead. We are catching him fairly quick. As we did get a good run through the Schumacher S's there. Going to keep the speed through here. And we're going to hope to get him down towards the chicane. We look to get a good run here. We swing it out wide. Hit our apex. And then on the power as quickly as possible. Or as early as possible. And we do get a good run here. Now, any other day, I would probably just sit back a little bit and wait until the main straight. But we do have a bit of ground to make up here, and I am aware of that. So I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive here. Stick it to the inside. Outbreak. And we still make the chicane absolutely fine. No issues there. And the driver is behind. Up to P17 and a little group ahead of us. There is a car gone into the pits there. I'm not quite sure what happened then, but I just assume they had damage. So as we cross the line... We do actually come up to P16, so we're slowly making our way back through the field. And all thoughts of that stupid error on lap 1 is now firmly behind us. Going to see what happens with these two guys ahead. Seem to be racing quite closely. Uh, we make another error here. We completely misjudge the first corner. Cut right through the grass. We do pick up another incident point, so that's now 5 out of 30. And a small time penalty as well, which is why we slowed there T2 to let that car back by. I do find that the um, penalties in race room are quite severe, the time penalties, uh, so best avoid them if possible. Yellow flag ahead, there is a car that was out, it's now merging back onto the track, so we're side by side with this Beamer, and he's sticking us to the right hand side here, making sure that we have zero space, but we do get by him. And in our mind that move is done now, but he does come back in and make a pretty bold move here, hits us on the side. And we begin to spin another four incident points for us. And you can see by the uh, reaction on my face there. I'm not too impressed with this dude right now. I didn't think that was a great move for him to make. Quite aggressive on the inside. Just pushing us out like that. Could have spun us right back around again. And had us doing a lot more work than we needed to do already in this race. But anyway, we're back towards Schumacher S's here. We have a run. We're going to stick it around the outside here. We think we can keep it. This guy is going to race us hard but fair gives us space 
then we cut back on the inside for the second corner up here again up the hill and we have our eyes on this car in front we do want to overtake him and this is where i begin to make a few small misjudgments and partly the reason why i ended up with so many incident points a little bit too aggressive here i wanted to get a run out of the corner but i ended up cutting a little bit too much and i hit him from behind and that's now 14 out of 30 incident points and you begin to see how quickly you can actually amass these incident points during a race you think when you have 30 you've got tons but uh they do add up quite quickly another hit there he breaks a little bit earlier than we expected squeezes us to the side we end up hitting him from behind now 18 out of 30 incident points we get conservative in here we let him outbreak himself and we got to run down the inside so now down to t1 i'm fully aware at this point he is behind us and i am expecting him to make a move to the outside or inside of the corner so i choose to go to the inside here and just see what way he races so we're average on the brakes here, normal braking zone, but he hits us from the side, pushes us, and then hits us again here. And that's now 26 incident points out of 30. At this point, I'm getting a little bit frustrated with this guy. He's racing us a little bit too aggressively. And going back half a lap, yes, I, I nudged him once or twice, uh, and that's on me. And to be fair, he's probably thinking the exact same thing as I am, wondering who is this dickhead racing me. As we go off track, that's now 27 out of 30 incident points. At this point, I'm beginning to think, oh shit, I'm going to be disqualified. So from here on in, it is careful, careful, careful. I'm paying attention to every apex, how I'm bringing the car through the corner, and I am just praying that I can make it for the next nine minutes and 10 seconds without amassing any more incident points as we fast forward here we do amass one more in this time period actually two more for two off tracks so now we're 29 out of 30 incident points we can't even fart in the direction of a curb because we're going to be disqualified so we have to be so careful here uh, so as we come up to the chicane here there is a car off on the corner and we just decide to pass him we just go for it and we just hope that he wasn't going to come across on us and he didn't thankfully back onto the main straight here and we've got p13 ahead of us so coming up towards the schumacher s's here there's surely room for a move at some point around here so we try to keep the speed through try to get a run up the hill he gets a good run also he keeps the gap consistent at 0.5 seconds we're way too far back to even fathom making a move here but we're laid in here hit the apex try to run it out he gets an off track there i'm not too sure if he had a slowdown but again we're on the apex he runs it out wide oh we were so close to him there we wanted to keep the power down because we did want to get by him but I, we chanced it slightly there but we did make it all's good now up towards the chicane i can see these two boyos ahead of us are fighting quite close so i'm hoping something will happen here so skipping forward again we're still in the race we're still driving and now we're behind these two and we're in a little bit of a tricky position here now racing two is a lot different than racing one and we have to be wary of our 29 out of 30 incident points we can't make a single wrong move here so we're going to sit back see what happens but then this beamer in front of us makes a bold move hits the car on the inside they both spin i try to swing it to the left as fast as i can to avoid both cars and that's two freebies i will take that onto the final lap coming down the hill here and that car ahead of us outbreaks himself here he's out into the gravel we're on the accelerator we want to pass him he comes across we barely avoid him again and that's the last car we're going to overtake in this race now we just need to keep it on track the whole way to the finish line no off tracks and we are home p10 we did start in p19 so actually a decent result considering but looking back at it i would do a lot of things differently but thank you so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it and of course as i said before if you liked it leave a comment down below hit that thumbs up button and of course subscribe to the channel if you do want to see more race room content in the future hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one.